back to it, you beautiful people. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. What a fantastic morning we've had so far. Ah, a little bit Inspired of everything. Inspired by the ocean. Yeah, we love it. The Wave Escape Arts Festival is all about that. We're going to meet one of the incredible artists who's going to be displaying their work. Ryan Zanzi back on the beach and doing something special, chatting about an incredible project. We talk about the Wavescape Artboard Project, and since 2005, they've raised almost over 5 million rand, and that's for the benefit of various charities involved in the ocean. Now, what happens is various artists from all around design incredible pieces like this. It gets auctioned off. One of those auctioners is going to be Nick Rabinovitz this year, and all those proceeds go to an absolutely incredible cause. For now, I'm getting to chat to one of the artists themselves, is Ricky Joshua, who's put together this absolutely eclectic and beautiful piece of art. Ricky, how are you doing this morning, man? I'm well, thank you. Yeah. It's good to chat to you, good to chat to an artistic mind like yourself. I want to get straight into it, man, because this looks stunning. It gives me that nostalgic feel of being on the beach, lots of memories, but talk to me about the rationality and the, the motivation behind your art. Yeah, of course. Um it's a, it's a day at the beach, as you can see, and uh, the ice cream man is the focal point. <laughs> but you can see that with my style, my fragmented style, I, um, he's looking like he's disintegrating, you know, and, um, and I kind of linked it to the ocean and how the ocean floor is busy disintegrating and how it's affecting livelihoods, uh, you know, uh, of, of small-scale fishers on the coastline. And so, um, and also I use the, um, the divine proportion of nature to calculate exactly where the uh, where the little um, umbrella hole is yeah the, the umbrella so I kind of linked it to nature and uh, you know and the ocean and so so yeah absolutely incredible stuff I love the message behind it and I love the fact that you're also using what's currently happening right now yeah. the ocean needs us the community needs to get behind preserving and protecting it I love how you've displayed that in this piece oh man I'm sure that art obviously has a deep connection with you but also the ocean I'd imagine where does that connection actually come from man? and what's gotten you to the point of obviously putting something on a piece like this yeah um, well I have to talk about my wife uh, she works for an NGO who works on the on the uh, on both coastlines with all the fish communities and so I hear firsthand uh, of the of the plight of the fishermen and how they're struggling for their livelihoods and how the, the change in the ocean is affecting them because the fish are moving further away and uh, also the ocean bed is busy uh, eroding because of acidification in the ocean and so so yeah so the so the small-scale fisher and the scientists are working together to see how they can uh, educate people and uh, and of course uh, you know we have a big part to play in it the the ocean is vast, but we, but we seem to think that as an individual you can't make an impact. But yes, you can, you know, because um, there's, a, there's a vast amount of plastic that goes into the ocean every year. They're talking about 8 million metric tons of plastic that goes into the ocean. And so we can play a part by, by using plastic uh, in a different way, reusing, um, recycling and cleaning up our mess on the beach. And also a simple thing like straws, you know, yeah. you don't have to use a plastic straw. So um, if you stop using plastic straws, you can start making an effect as, a, as an individual. So, yeah. Absolutely love the message, man. Look, now with all the opportunities for you to obviously showcase your art, yeah. why exactly have you used the Wastecapes Artboard Project to kind of exhibit this beautiful message here? Um, well, they, when they approached me, I, I read up about Wavescapes and what they're doing, and um, it was a no-brainer for me, you know, to be part of such a great project and to just play a part in, you know, in giving back and helping and saving our ocean. Yeah. Absolutely grateful. Now, look, not many of us are as gifted as you are, clearly, and we aren't always the artists when it comes to putting such beautiful colors and, and such an image on a canvas like this. How else can we maybe get involved? How else can we maybe be a part of the ocean serving to protect it, conserve it, and, and experience ourselves maybe I think uh, to raise awareness first become aware yourself of what's happening in the ocean and 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 how plastic especially finds its way into the ocean and like I said how to reuse and how to recycle um, those things are you know you can start there you know, in simple ways and in small ways or you can also support uh, NGOs that uh, that are fighting this uh, you know the uh, or working with the ocean change and and so forth so uh, yeah well, Ricky, I can't thank you enough for the incredible work that you're doing and for using your gift to spread such a beautiful message. For you, Mzanzi, if you haven't figured it out by now, this is actually the correct direction of this beautiful art piece right here. 
as you can see. And for all of those that want to get involved, the 9th of March is where you can see some of this incredible work as well as all the other pieces that are going to be on auction to raise some incredible, incredible funds for some of the most beautiful organizations associated with our beach. We're talking about the Nine Miles Project. We're talking about the NSRI and so many others out there that are going to benefit from all of this magic. Yo. Must be very nice, Ryle, chilling on the beach there, focusing on art, surfing, sea breeze, just as you would like it. But it's been fantastic crossing over to Lyle, who's doing some, some great work on the beach.